Hey guys, I'm just playing around today with the Too Faced Contour Palette and the Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow. If you guys are interested to see what my uh, reaction, I guess, to these are, stay here with me. I say I'm late because I'm always late to the game. But anyway, this is my favorite brand. Um, I try not to purchase too much makeup anymore just because I get a lot of stuff from Boxy. So I'd rather just use whatever I get from Boxy. And yes, I did get these from Boxy. So that's why I decided to go ahead and play with them today. And I hope you guys will join me. With that being said, let's just get started. So shall I contour? Should I do eyes? Contour, eyes. She says eyes. So here we have the Too Faced Natural Matte, Neutral Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Let's talk about the packaging. How cute is that? So, voila! Surprised I haven't dove into this yet. When I get new palettes, I tend to like dive into them right away. So I'm super surprised I haven't dove into this yet. How cute is that? They're very simple, very natural, very neutral. If you hear the rain, it is storming outside my window and my area is right here in front of the window, so you might hear some rain. And yes, these do smell delicioso. So we definitely got some good colors to work with. I do like this like dark brown purple. It's kind of hard to see with the light. But I'm thinking of going for that. So, my eyes are already primed. If you're wondering what I used, if I can find it here, I use the Eyeshadow Fix Matte Longwear by Zovia, maybe. That's what that looks like. So for my transition shade, I think I'm going to go with Less Is More, which is this color right here. Sorry about the lighting. I think it's the metal on here. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and just put that kind of all over the lid, like seal. Seems like it has a, like a purple tone to it. It's pretty though, and it's really soft. So next I'm going to take this dark one that I was talking about, the Risky Business, which is really pretty. And I'm gonna kind of like just put it in the outer corner of my eye. I am gonna bring it up. I don't want this to be like extremely bold, but I want to give myself kind of like a smoky, I guess. I tend to always do a smoky, but I like it. I think it looks good on, on me. I don't know. I could be wrong. You know, sometimes you think something looks really good on you and everybody's like, mm, girl, mm-mm. But, yeah, no, I still be rocking stuff. Moving on to this cleavage <laughs> right here. It's kind of like a pinkish, tannish color. Um, I figured that would look cute kind of like in the center. So let's go for it. So I'm kind of packing it on because I do want it to show up. It looks pretty. It's really pretty. And like I said, these are so soft. I still can't believe how soft these are. Like they're just going on like butter, man. Like it's coming out pretty simple and I like it. I do. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that risky business underneath.
a little darker. Blend that out some with cleavage. I'm going to take I think I'm going to take a little bit of this nude goals which is like a pink right here and kind of put it a little bit towards the corner of the eye but not too much because I do want something sparkly there okay I like that a little chalky but it is pretty so moving on to the contour palette there is some highlighter in here that I'll probably use for the corner of my eyes but oh my gosh it's so pretty how pretty is that why is my light being so rude right now so I'm going to go for the deep contour which is the darkest shade in here to contour my face A little orangey. But it's all right. We can work with it, right? Yeah, we can work with that. So pretty much have it all over my face. It's kind of orangey. I'm not kind of liking like I'm getting like Oompa Loompa vibes here. So I think I'm going to tone tone <laughs> tone it down with maybe the medium contour, but even that one looks I don't know. Even the light contour, but I think that's going to be too light. Let's try the medium. Try on air here. Try on air, man. We're gonna get this. Just not liking this orange. Toned it down a little. Not loving it, but I ain't mad at it. Does that make sense? Like it looks, it looks cute. Right? Anywho, let me put a little bit of blush on. All right, so I used this one, which gave me some Oompa Loompa vibes here. That's the deep, deep contour. And then I kind of put the medium contour over top just to kind of, I don't know, do something. <laughs> I did put some blush on. And then now the highlights, I don't know. They're a little... A little weird. I thought they would be sparkly. Now there is this, the same thing, light, medium, and dark. So I'm sorry about the lighting again. It's because of the metal, I guess, or plastic, whatever. Anyway, um, so since there's no shimmer, I'm going to go with the medium. If I can find a highlighting brush here see what it does I don't feel like it's doing much of anything mm. it's kind of like chalky I'm a little disappointed in this palette I will say highlights to me are just they're not highlights like this I could probably pull off as maybe a blush let's see yeah, like I can pull that off as like a blush. Other than that, I'm not impressed, which is sad. Like I said, this is my favorite brand. I love Too Faced everything. Not impressed by the contour palette. Not this one anyway. Um, a little disappointed actually. But it is what it is. 
I have my highlight here that I can finish off my look here. My cute little, uh, I forget her name, uh, Jessica Rabbit um, highlighter here. And I'll just put that on. Much better than that chalky mess over there. that up that was too much too much Heidi too much got too excited I guess and then I'll also put my Jessica Rabbit right here give us some light right there same thing on the other side all right so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyes put some mascara some liner maybe put some lipstick on and then I'll tell you my final thoughts on that all right, so I am done with my eyes. I did finish off with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is one of my favorites. The only downfall of that mascara, I will say, even though I'm talking more of the palette here, um, my only downfall about that mascara is that it does tend to dry and like it sheds, which I hate, but I still love that mascara. Um, so as far as the palettes go, loved the eyeshadow. Um, it's very you know natural neutral like it says um it's something for like everyday wear something that you can take for like if you're going on vacation and you want to do like the most minimal like that's the perfect palette to take with you i mean it is a little i mean it's not humongous but it's like bulky but it's still small enough that you know you can put in your little makeup bag and stuff the colors are just like they're beautiful like i said they're for everyday wear um when you want to do the most minimal perfect or even um you know kind of darken it up give yourself a little smoky with that that color i'm sure you could do it with the brown too um the sexpert <laughs> the names are really cool um but anyway i'm sure you can do it with that too um i did enjoy this palette um i will definitely be using it it will probably be my go-to for right now because like I said, I do the most minimal right now, so it'll, it'll probably be my go-to um, for the rest of the summer. As far as the contour palette went, as you could tell, like, it, it's it's a no-go for me. Like, I didn't like it. Um, I feel, it felt like it was more, like, on the orangey side, especially the darkest one. Um, I usually like to go for darker contour, like over here um, because I do have you know pretty big cheekbones or cheeks in general so I like to uh, I guess show it off more so I tend to go darker like back here and that just it didn't do it for me it was too too orangey um, the brown the middle one was okay but kind of chalky all the highlights were chalky this one was okay but it's more of um, almost like a blush you know a little peachy blush that you can put on for like the summer or when you just want to be subtle um as far as a contour palette it's just it's a no just period it's a no um i am disappointed i am sad um because as far as the actual brand goes i will still love them just because like their products are so good and soft and silky and they smell delicious um which i don't know if this contour palette smell did it smell not really um <laughs> but that is it that's all i just really wanted to play pretty much with the palettes and kind of share a little bit of my opinion with you guys um if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you guys didn't go ahead and give me a thumbs down whatever it is you want to give me um also if you have any comments go ahead and comment down below i appreciate any comments any questions anything that you have to say just do it i appreciate it um please no negativity that's just it's dumb um but i hope to see you guys in the next video love you guys bye